What's up, the squad? Back with another video. I seen the title was going out. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button for me, please. Y'all seen the title? Before we get in this, uh, the video of you know the 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 guys that served with Tim Waltz, or he was supposed to be going, you know, supposedly to Afghanistan with, and then go. Um, <clears throat> I want y'all to check out this. So, so, so for the people that's you know in the back that's in my comments and. You know, basically supporting Kamala and Tim lies and backing him up. Check this out first. I want to ask uh, you a question about how you've described your service in the National Guard. Mm. Uh, you said that you carried weapons in war, but you have never deployed actually in a war zone. A campaign official said that you misspoke. Did you? Well, first of all, I'm incredibly proud. I've done 24 years of wearing the uniform of this country. Equally proud of my service in a public school classroom, whether it's Congress or, uh, or the governor. Uh, my record speaks for itself, but I think uh, people are coming to get to know me. I, I speak like they do. Um, I speak candidly. I wear my emotions on my sleeves, and uh, I speak uh, especially question? passionately about, uh, about our children being shot in schools. And now, check this out. When y'all when y'all watching this video, and I've watched it uh, more and more, more and more, more and more. When he's talking, you'll see Kamala smiling she's happy her whole attitude changes when he shifts over to his answer um i speak candidly i wear my emotions on my sleeves and uh i speak Look at uh, it. see this now don't get me wrong nobody's gonna be smiling you talking about children this that and the other but it's it's her attitude that gives as he's answering these questions let's look especially at especially passionately about uh about our children being shot in schools and around around guns. So uh, I think people know me. They know who I am. They know where uh, where my heart is. And again, my record has been out there for over 40 years to, to speak for itself. And the, the idea that you said that you were in war, yeah. did you misspeak as the campaign has said? Yeah, I said we were talking about in this case, this was after. His they campaign. won't even show Kamala. If y'all go back and look at this interview, they won't even show Kamala. She's, she's mad right now. He wasn't supposed to say none of this. The ideas of carrying these weapons of war. And uh, my wife, the English teacher, told me my grammar is not always correct. But again, if it's not this, it's an attack on my children for showing love for me. See this? See this? How he said attack on my children? He's, he's, he's beating around the bush. And she does it too. But she's going to taste of her own medicine. This is literally what attack she on does my too. children for showing love for me or it's Look, deep breath again. Uh, I'm not going to do Head that. Down. One thing I'll never do is I'll never demean another member's service in any way i never have uh and i never will jeff see what i mean that's exactly what i'm talking about it just goes to show you right here look at it, it's more lies i also spent 24 years in the military in the national guard i retired as a command sergeant major i purposely stayed in the enlisted ranks because those of us in the military those of you who served know that that's the, thank you that's where the work got done um i was honored to be deployed in support of uh operation enduring freedom the war in afghanistan Bro is lying so much. That that's that's for real sickening. They lie, don't want to answer questions. I look at him. He don't even want to answer. I'm telling y'all, they whole team don't want them speaking. After that interview, it's over with. After that interview, they do not want them speaking without, you know, the team being there, anything like that, on how bad that interview was. I'm telling y'all. He don't even want to answer a question. This is at this is at his uh I'm pretty sure, I don't know if it's his hometown or, or what, but this is at a fair. What's your reaction well, to the six officers being found dead um, in Gotham? See his team? Oh, we got to go. As soon as they heard the question. Thanks, everybody. See how that works? They show y'all so much disrespect. And what I mean by they show y'all so much disrespect, the people that supporting Kamala, the people that supporting Tim Walsh. This is the disrespect that y'all get, but y'all still support this, which is crazy to me. This is crazy to me. The, these are the people that, you know, he left. Why did you come forward? It is morally indefensible. He didn't care. It was all about him. He's a military impersonator. I don't understand how he could do it morally or you, know, you got to absolutely no integrity. The rumor went across the state that he had quit and it was like, who the hell does that? I mean, it was just unbelievable that a CSM abandoned his troops, you know, 500 soldiers, basically. But beyond that, there's a thousand parents out there that expect that person 
to lead those people into combat. He's a habit. And I feel like that's that's real because that's how my that's how my mom was when my brother went to the military. She looked at the fact that oh, okay, he has his brothers. Meaning his brothers, you know, that you know, in the military, in the army. He has his brothers. That's what you look for. But then you got somebody that's sitting there lying, bro. I feel like that's the most disrespectful thing you can possibly do, bro. Is you sitting there and you lying. You lying like you actually was with them the whole time. It's wild. Man, he's a habitual liar. He lies about everything. He lies about stuff that doesn't make sense. You're taking a piece of their thunder and you're trying to capture it and putting it in a bottle for yourself and use that for your own benefit. He basically said, I've got better things to do. You know, look, go pick somebody else to go on a mission. But if you sold out your guard unit and abandoned them, I mean, what are you going to do at the national level? Fear is a reaction. Exactly. Say that again, please. If you sold out your guard unit and abandoned them, I mean, what are you going to do at the national level? People need to realize that. What do y'all think he's going to do? What do y'all think he's going to do? What do y'all think Kamala's going to do? Fear is a reaction. Bravery is a decision. And Walls has made the wrong decision. He's not brave. I call him a coward because he is. Mm. That is insane, y'all. He got out there and did a couple of announcements uh, at various rallies, and we'll take a look at one of them. This is Sot Six in um, his rally right after the vice presidential announcement. My dad served in the Army during the Korean War. And with his encouragement, at 17, I joined the Army National Guard. For 24 years, I proudly wore the uniform of this nation. And I feel like he's gassing it too much like he was actually in war, like doing the most. Like he was really out there going hard. And don't don't get me wrong. I like I always say, I thank you for your service. My brother served. And I'm glad that my, my brother was never in war or anything like that. I'm so glad, you know, and it, I know it's others. And condolences to the ones that's, that's you know, that lost loved ones to it. But you sit there. And you running to be a vice president and you you sitting there or you standing there gassing the fact like you was really in war. That is highly disrespectful, bro. The National Guard gave me purpose. It gave me the strength of a shared commitment to something greater than ourselves. And just as it did for my dad and millions of others, the GI Bill gave me a shot at a college education. That was before all the controversy hit. He knew you guys were out there, but that's how he tried to spin it in his first appearance. Like, hey, here I am, National Guardsman, in response to which you felt what? Just, he's, what, he's grab his leg. <laughs> what does grabbing the leg do? Oh, he's mad. <laughs> he said, calm him down. <laughs> He he just said that it was the biggest commitment and his exact words I can't. It was and bigger than out. himself, right? Right, bigger yeah. than himself. And I'm like, no, it wasn't. He he is he is the pinnacle of everything, right? He, everything he does and says. A couple of years ago, I did an interview, and in that, I said he's a habitual liar. He lies about everything. He lies about stuff that doesn't make sense. Wow. And, uh, you know, and again, here here we got the, the Chamber of Commerce coming out. Yeah, you were in the, the, the Nebraska National Guard. You came to the Minnesota National Guard. Um, why? I don't know. Uh, let's talk about, oh, you, he, he says all these things. Like, I was a, I was a, I was a football coach. You were assistant coach and you were fired because of a DUI that you lied about being deaf. I didn't even know this. I didn't. I knew he was a football coach, assistant coach, but I didn't know that he got fired. I didn't know that. Coach, oh, dang. you were assistant coach and you were fired because of a DUI that you lied about being deaf on. Okay. Um, to try and get out of whatever you were trying to get out of there. I mean, um, it's just it's just one habitual lie after another, and they keep piling up. And eventually, you can't. There's not enough blankets. Wow. Y'all see it? Uh, the Megyn Kelly show. Uh, y'all can check this interview out. But that that literally that is insane to me, y'all. 
It's actually sad. I definitely applaud um, and, you know, want to thank these gentlemen for their service. The real ones that actually were out there didn't leave um, their brothers. So I, I definitely, you know, got to get that to them. I definitely do. That's crazy. That's definitely crazy. And you got somebody that's really out here lying. He's really out here lying like he really went to war. Like he was really. But this is who people want to vote for. That is insane to me. It definitely is insane. Um, y'all let me know y'all comments, thoughts down below. Uh, but I already know. Definitely hit the like button, subscribe button. Stay tuned for the next video. Catch y'all next one.